Good morning and welcome back to the channel. My name is Varska and we are back with another episode of Banished. But before we get started, if you haven't already, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. And make sure to also click that little notification bell. It looks kind of like that. That way you can stay up to date with all of my latest content, all of my latest videos, and etc, etc. So, let's go ahead and get back into the game. So, our food is doing great. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit of lag. You can see it's moving slower and slower. So, oh. And you have nothing I want. Goodbye. So, what do we want to do? Um, we can continue working on our food production or or we can try to increase our iron production or rather our coal production now I know we've got these houses scheduled to tear down so it's not like a mine's gonna get built overnight but I think we should now nah, let's let's do iron actually let's let's do the triple mine thing again so let's build a road up to where these farms are. And I'm pretty confident in how everything's going as far as food, so we're just we're not gonna pay attention to it for right now. We'll still try to keep a little bit of an eye out open on it, but not as much as we've been. Let's go over to resources, let's check out the mines. And so we're just going to run the three like we've been. And we'll end up extending slightly past on the roadway. So we've got three mines going in there. Now with our mines, we're also going to need a really, really large stockpile. Um, so let's, let's put the large stockpile... I want to use this for more mining houses. Any more mining houses here? Yes. Mm. I'll use this portion for the stockpile. So let's extend as large as we can. Let's do a 10 by 10 and another 10 by 10 right behind it. And then we got the construction of those going on and then we'll build more houses in here and then yeah we'll start working on that as our next set of mining community beyond what we already have i don't think we need anybody more working as stone cutters at least right now but i definitely want to bring up our iron intake and our coal intake so we're probably going to have oh we got nomads how many depending on how many we got Depends on 69. I don't think we can handle adding 69 new people. But. Mm, we're going to have to do some serious, serious growth here if we do. More agricultural. More housing. Everything. Let's do it. So we're going to need someone to work these mines. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got 56 people. We are going to dump a lot of them into builders and laborers. We're going to need a lot more of everything. So we're going to we're going to go a little ham here. We're going to start with new farms. Because as we saw, if we don't take care of our farms adequately, we will be exterminated as an entire population. I think we can do this, guys. So, we're going to start using the big farms. I know they're not as efficient, but it's going to save us a lot of time on actually building. Here is a 20 by 18. Oh, well, I don't want to go that big. 
We'll do we'll do twenty by tens. By ten, there's through, and then do another twenty by ten. Followed by another twenty by. Oh, we can't do it for a path branching around the mine. And now, where is that twenty by? 10? So we can effectively do a twenty by ten here. Let's do another one, twenty by ten. And I think we had the one space over. Then twenty by ten. And how big were you? I'll just trace if we can. Oh, yeah, you were a 12 by 10, so we'll do 12 by 10. And then 12 by. That opens up a really, really large field for us. Now, do we have any room in here? I think, I think, I think, but I don't think well. <laughs> uh, it's hard. Very difficult to think on what we need to do. So we expanded really large there for agriculture. But we're not going to be able to support all of those out there because they're, they're getting a little far away. So off here, we will build a chute of houses. But we need those farms built first. So with the amount of laborers we've got, we should be able to clear some space up. Um, and we're also going to start... Gonna dip a couple of these guys into our fishing, help ease the burden a little bit. More of these guys into our forestry program. Um, more of these guys into our stone cutters. Help our stone cutters up to 20, our miners up to 25. Decrease our builders to 20, so we have 12 laborers. Uh, we do have enough tools to handle this right now, and I mean, it, it's not really like it could have been a better time for us to try and take this on because we are doing good with our food um and we're about you know it's it's harvest soon so we're gonna get a refresh on the amount of food we have but that is a big jump on our population and i'm hoping i'm hoping we can handle it if not we will we will face extinction and it will be the end of us it will be the end of the town of ginger I gotta sneeze, but I don't have to. Oh, I hate that feeling. Ah. Uh, so, we're just gonna move a little bit further away from where all that is going on, because yeah, we are getting some serious lag. I think we're, I think we're gonna have to stop at about 500 adults, just because my my system really can't handle that. It's a shame. And, you know, in the future, when I get a better system, we can pick up where we left off as well. Uh, but we're not, we're not stopping yet. We're going to reach 500 first. 500 full-blown working adults. And if the lag's not too bad, great. Great. Now, when we pause, it's fine. They're not moving around. So it doesn't cause any damage to our system. So we can still build accurately. We just got to kind of not hover over super populated areas while we're while we're building. You can go, you're at the wrong trading post. So Yep. Camera lag is getting bad. Mm. Such a shame because I love doing this series. I don't wanna I don't wanna have to end it so soon. I wanted to try and, you know, push up to a thousand push up to 1500 even but we'll we'll have to at least at least pause the series 
at around 500 adults. Because that's still going to be around 900 total people with how our, um, our children and our students go. And I mean, that is if the nomads don't kill us anyway. So, yeah. So. Alright, so these got taken down. They're ready to be constructed. We're going to burn through a lot of stone doing all this. I mean, hell, one of our mines looks like it's almost done already. That was fast. Got five more building on it. I mean, these guys are almost fully collected. For, well, that one's not. This guy's almost fully collected for... Oh, bam. One mine running right off the bat. Arms. So I'm actually going to drop the builders down to 15 so we can keep the laborers at 19. Because although it, it doesn't take any building to make a farm, you just got to clear the land. Hmm. Late summer, a lot of harvesting already going on, so that's good. We're also going to need even more blacksmiths to keep up with this, but we can only take one thing at a time. We also have 70 people who are homeless right now. Ugh. So, I can, I can, I can kind of start burning into that. Um, just so we're doing something while everything else is being done. So, we'll do a row of two there. Rotate. Nice. I'm almost wondering if I should put another market in, because I can I can I can only extend it this way. So if I put another market in, I'm gonna put it in behind these buildings. Which I mean, we're working out that way anyway. So now, let's focus. Where are you connected to? You don't have a road passing through you, so we want to put you one over. Then you you're gonna start off with. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go five out and wrap around. We already got a well right here, so we don't need to concern ourselves with building a well. An extra one would be good, but, you know, we can put it in when we discover where we have the space to expand out from here later. We don't want to get too close to our forestry line because that makes it pretty much useless. So I think that amount of houses should be pretty decent. Um, maybe put one in here as well. Just to kind of seal up the air. And then they have a nice little well right in front of their house, and that's kind of cute. It's not centered, but it's it's cute. Bean seeds. Do I have beans? I don't need beans. I should get beans. Why did I dismiss you? Come back. It doesn't work like that. Okay. So they are definitely making progress on the farms already. So this one is going to be wheat. some farmers on to that. Then these two are almost done being built. Oh, it's winter, so we're going to have a lot more stuff being done. We are going to increase the amount of people in the mines to 35. Decrease. We're not going to de... Oh, no. Why is there... Diphtheria? I don't even know what diphtheria is. Like, I've heard of some of the other diseases, but diphtheria? I'll have to look it up when I'm done filming. So, farming is done for the winter. 
uh, we did pull a sizable amount of food during harvest. Uh, diphtheria is probably going to take care of itself anyway. Just go to the hospital, you'll be fine. And then our home construction is doing good. As far as the reconstruction of the old wooden houses. Uh, this one's up and running, so we got one iron. We'll make this one full as well. So we can try, start trying to maybe have some sort of supply of coal. That would be, that would be nice. Uh, this one's available. We will put you as we did the last one wheat, so this one's going to be pepper. And increase our farmers again. Decrease our builders down to 10. It's funny. The nomads, they don't, they can't fill the amount of jobs that they make. Like, I got 69 builders and I'm still slowly starting to run out. And looks like our other mine's about to be completed. Definitely won't be able to fill that in. Oh no, there's another person with diphtheria? Uh, we'll make this one... Did I make the last one squash? No, I made it corn. Okay, so squash is good. I'm hoping the roads will actually protect them from, you know, pestilence, but... Honestly, we'll just destroy them if they get infected so that they don't spread, rather than, you know, cutting them all down. Four people with diphtheria. Seriously? Come on. I got a doctor for a reason. Go see him. More farmers. And our housing development down here is starting to kick off. Oh, we got a useless trader. And then we'll build another city center, and that will, or uh, not city center, but a market, and then we'll wrap a tailor and a couple blacksmiths in there. Um, my tailor can't, cannot keep up with the population. Um, tailors, blacksmiths, brewers, the whole lot of them. Uh, let's make you pumpkin. And three more farmers. See, my main fear is that I just really, really, really don't want to run out of food. Cabbage. And two more farmers to fill that field. I'm starting to run low on laborers. Mm. But I do have the new mine going. I am going to make it coal as well. So we're going to decrease our builders down to five now. So we can get five more miners. Because miner, it covers two different resources. And hopefully... I'm going to make this corn. Three more. And I think we, we only really have one more field going in, right? Two more, three more fields going in. And we'll, we'll have to see how this goes during you know, spring. It is early spring. I'll make this one wheat. It's nice and small and very far from the other wheat field. So now we need two more farmers. And we're not going to have enough farmers, I don't think. We can decrease the builders down to two. I know we've given one builder a lot more projects than this. And they've been fine. Seven people with diphtheria now. My goodness. Y'all aren't supposed to be getting sick this easily. At least the number with that are diseased are going down. Well, that works. I should probably put some roads in this while I can still see where the roads go. Um. Ah, oh, crap! I didn't think about that.
It's alright. There's plenty of neighborhoods with very unnavigatable roads. And confusing turns and twists. And then this goes right, one right here. One right here. And yeah, that should that should keep them covered there and I'll just put that all. Well, we have killed our stone supply. That is for sure. And more than likely... Really? Okay. One of them's been finished. We're gonna make that... Squash. Just because I hate it doesn't mean my villagers will. We got one more field to put in. Almost there. Just gotta get one more, one more resource out of the way. Boom. All right, and this will be pepper. Oh crap! Why do we have a fire? No, 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 no. That is not okay. That is not okay. Everybody, save the building. Save the building. There is the ocean right there. Yep, yep. You can put it out. You got it. You got it. Come on, guys. Don't let the whole neighborhood burn up. We're facing a housing shortage as it is. Good job. Rebuild. Stone building, so it's okay to rebuild it. But, I mean, these houses are still being rebuilt. I can imagine our boarding houses. Why is our boarding house not full? We have 68 homeless people. Let's go back on 10 speed. I was concerned. I thought we were going to lose an entire neighborhood. I'm, thankfully, we haven't had a fire get out of hand. We've had two fires now, and neither of them have gotten out of hand. And oh, the theory is gone too. We beat it. Awesome. So, so far, you know, taking on these, uh, these nomads isn't hasn't been a bad thing. It's it's actually been a great thing. Great for the economy. I love how I'm talking about an economy when we don't even use coins. <laughs> great for the economy. Great for the industry. Great for all that lovely political sounding stuff. But now overall it's been great. Um, we're having a lot we a lot more jobs are filled. There's, you know, a lot higher production on everything. We are facing some kind of heavy lag, but we'll just look at that like pollution. Um, unfortunately, just like pollution in the real world, the more that builds up, the more you just have to think about throwing the whole planet away. At least until you have the, the technology to make it work better. Sadly, that's what we're looking at in the world right now. But regardless, Regardless, lag is our pollution, and our system just can't handle the strain that we're putting on it. But we're going to try to push it to its limit. Man, these years are going by real slow. We're still in summer. Ugh, that's an unseen, unfortunate side effect. Is that it? it because it runs slower, it makes the episodes longer. Because it takes longer to get through the years. So I don't I don't know if we can make it to 500. I mean, we're getting close. We're at 352. I can just I can zoom in on the crops and the crops, the crops, and it will run kind of quickly. But it's it's still calculating. That chicken's outside its fence. I mean, zooming in on the crops and everything, that's not really exciting for you guys to watch anyway. I mean, granted, you might feel like watching the cows all day and how many people are, you know, crossing through the fields and just trampling everything. And... But, no. I can't see us going too much, too much further in the series, sadly. 
just because of our, our hardware limitations. But we'll try. So it's now late summer. Um, we should see some harvesting started. Yep, I see some like some harvesting started here, 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 here. No, they're not harvesting. What are they doing? Harvest. They just failed to grow the crops fast fast enough. All right, so I got two more. So I don't think we're gonna need it on food. Oh no. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the infestation? This field? Okay. Let's say goodbye to this field. Goodbye, field. Infestation should be gone now. Right? And now maybe re rebuild in the same spot. It's a shame that doesn't get our crop back. Oh, that'd be cool. Neat little glitch or workaround. All right, so we actually have no, we don't have too many farms. We just haven't rebuilt that farm yet. So we're gonna put these two laborers that we got here. At, you know, what? I think we're actually gonna leave them. Let them fill any positions that open, or let them just do whatever dirty, odd jobs I've got. Good, good, good boy. I, I do not trade out of this trading post. I put it in by mis, not mistake. Just expecting to be richer than I am. Surprisingly, our tools are doing amazing, and it's just—it's all in all—it's—it's it's really too much to handle. <laughs> I mean, we, we can actually do some serious trading now. But I want more stone cutters and more miners because we're going to try to up our quality of tools to carbon steel. And we're not going to be able to do that if we can't get these mines filled because it's going to be really, really resource intensive and we're just not going to be able to handle the, the pool from it. Our logs are good, our firewood could be better, but, you know, I'm not really going to try too hard. They're using the coal anyway, which, even, unless you install a mod, I'm pretty sure they're always going to choose coal over firewood anyway. So you don't really have a choice in how effective things are. Or, if you, you might have a choice, you might have a way to stop them, but I, I think you have to do it through a mod, and... I know I have plenty of mods, but I've never actually ran into this, and so I might actually have to add that mod for next episode. Because they're not dying because they're cold, so I need them to stop wasting my coal. In fact, I don't know why they don't chop their own firewood, honestly. They have two legs and two arms, most of them anyway. Probably not the children who work in the quarries, but they, they can cut their own wood. And th for the children that work in the quarries who may have lost an arm or leg here or there, you know what? I believe in them, and they probably have family that can chop wood for them too. But now I don't—I don't think the children actually lose arms or legs or anything. I think they just get crushed by rocks. Off. I mean, after all, that's what my mod does. It puts six-year-olds in the quarry. And that's why most pe my people die. So that's where. Actually, I probably have a lot of them as farmers right now, so. Oh wait, no, I'm not I'm not using six year olds anymore. I forgot. Most of my most of my population's kids are in school. Proud of that. Proud of that. It's late autumn. Holy crap, these years guys go by pretty slowly with this lag. Yeah, this might be our longest banished episode yet. I'm not sure if I've got anything like a lot longer than it, but oh, someone died. Stone cutter, of course. I was just talking about sending children to go work in the mines. I, well, not mines. I meant 
the quarries, but yeah, that's um not doing anything terrible to our kids right now. Yeah, pumpkins. No, there's lots of pumpkins there. Um, wheat. I don't think there's any wheat in this field. And it's finally early winter. Whew. And we're losing a lot of food. But we are in the 30,000s. 30,000 is good. 30,000 is a decent number. And, you know, they're still trying to collect some. Probably should have done an early harvest, but... Oh, who's dying? Another, a forester was crushed by a rock. Well, that was silly of you. So, yeah. Um, we're just waiting on construction. Um, in fact, I'm going to bump all of my people to builders right now because we've still got, you know, 42 homeless individuals, and that's, that's kind of a problem. Not sure why they're not using the boarding house I built. Oh, and it looks like we got all of our wood houses that were here upgraded to stone as well. I can't 100% tell because of, you know. No, nope, those are still wood houses. Are they? Yeah, those are wood. Snow makes it hard to tell. Yeah, you guys can be builders too. Was it these ones that I upgraded? It might have been these ones that I upgraded. I think it was these ones that I upgraded. Man, I'm just going like crazy. Alright, so you guys can be miners. And we'll decrease the builders to 5. We don't need 7 builders. I know it says we need 64 builders, but we do not need 64 builders. I mean, if you're patient and you've got time, one builder can accomplish the job of hundreds. You just have to be patient. I am not patient. We don't need your sheep. Or your chickens. We've got our own. Bring us a dragon or something. I don't know what other animals are actually are to get. Are there any more animals? I don't know. I think it's just fruits and veggies that we've got left. Which we do want to start trading to try and get the rest of those. So I am going to actually look at our inventory of what we have a lot of um, as far as wool. Okay, so we have a lot of wool. Not a lot of clothing, but you know, it's, that's our tailor's fault, not ours. So we are going to bring in mm, 500 wool, 500 more, so bring that to a total of 700. 700 wool, and do I have anything else that's grandly large? Uh, we're not going to put tools in there, that gets a little risky. But, oh man, it looks like it's spring. Is it spring? Is it finally spring? Have we survived the long winter? Now it's still late winter. But it is an early spring. You can tell. There's no snow, and it's winter. So that's going to be great for crops. Did I actually have crops survive the winter? Freaking squash, man. Squash is great. So what, are they gonna are they still gonna keep harvesting? Yeah, they're still harvesting it. Slowly, but still harvesting it. And it's still not spraying. Holy crap. Alright, boom, spring. Alright, so we are going to end the episode there. I'm sure at like almost 35 minutes, if not well, probably 35 minutes by the time I'm done talking. At 35 minutes, I am sure you guys are glad. But thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for your patience on my lag and everything and for watching all the way through. And definitely, definitely leave me some likes. Leave me some comments. Um, let me know what you think I should do. Do you think I should keep going up to, you know, a super... Do you think I should try going past 500 full-grown adults? Or do you think I should call it quits at 500 adults because of the lag? Let me know in the comments below. And before I go... I just want to let you guys know, have a wonderful, wonderful day.